all packed up and ready to go, man. That's right. I got a, a C50. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Bill Rogers, what a name, man. That is a cool ass name. <laughs> this is. I'm, I'm thinking of going to Alaska. Man. Alaska? <laughs> hey, meeting up with Bill Rogers. What a, what a cool freaking name, man. Passing through Lake City, riding all the way to where? Uh, well, I'm going to end up in Nashville. Tale of the Dragon. Tale of the Dragon. And the Charahola Skyway. Charahola Skyway and all the great stuff that we just came from. What's going to be the name of your channel? Goldflyer.us. Getting this channel going, guys. Check it out. All right, folks. Bill's 2023 Gold Wing. After 40 years, he is a return rider, guys. Welcome, Bill, to the to the scene. And sorry, guys. Don't have Ruby today. We out on Susie. The boulevard. Just had some breakfast at IHOP. This was all about, folks. Fellowship, man. All right. Hey, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Rich, and today we are out for some throttle therapy. Name of the channel is Rich the Return Writer. For all you folks that's here for the first time, thanks for tuning in. For you folks that's return viewers, I appreciate you coming back. For all that subscribe to the channel, appreciate the support. For you folks that haven't yet subscribed, guys, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to bring you some of this content. So today, a couple of days off from work, thought it'd be a great time to do a video. But more importantly, man, get out and do a ride before we experience a little bit of some torrential downpour that is scheduled to come through this side here of town. So, you know, I like to start my rides out, guys, doing a little bit of a U-turn and a figure eight when I can. I am scheduled for the November 5th Robert Simmons be the boss of your motorcycle practice. Truly hope to see some of you folks there. That'd be great. But yeah, the video that you are watching is of Mr. Bill Rogers. Now, this is a gentleman that we've been trying to get in touch with each other for a little while now. Uh, he's been reaching out to me on uh, Instagram. We have finally met up, and what a pleasure. Bill is a return rider after being away from riding motorcycles for 40 years. Now, Bill is also a pilot and on his way to Tennessee, uh, North Carolina area. Now, this video is me putting a video together probably about a week after I met Bill. He stopped through Lake City after we were able to link up. And it's, it's been awesome, folks. Return riders, man. It's always a great opportunity to meet folks, talk to them, find out, you know, a little bit about their journey. My neighbors are there, awesome folks. Yeah, so Bill is on his way. Well, I asked, now that I'm doing this video, he have already reached out to me. He have rode the tail of the dragon, the Charahela Skyway, <laughs> and probably conquering quite a bit more. It is awesome, folks. Living your best life, man. Conquering your fears. You know, conquering your fears and absolutely having the best time possible. Now, I have just turned 60 a couple of weeks ago. Bill is, um, I'm not going to give his age, but he's up there with me. And, of course, you can see Bill looks in great shape. Now, I don't know if you heard, but when Bill pulled up there, he did say that he also owns a C50. Don't know if that's what he returned to riding on. 
But if we decide we will go and break some bread together and have a little conversation and get to know each other a little bit. And guys, I'm telling you, it's been some fascinating people that I have met getting back into riding motorcycles. And again, none no more interested than Bill, Bart, and some of the folks that I have got to spend a little bit of time with. But yeah, I don't know if you may hear mentioned there, Bill is also going to be starting a YouTube channel. Uh, if you look him up on Facebook, you will see he got an extensive history of uh, <laughs> editing and, and filmmaking and so forth. So I'm sure this is going to be way easier for him <laughs> than it is for me. But let's talk about it, man. Bill traveling from South Florida. Well, not South Florida. He's around the Tampa area. I forgot where he said. I'm going to list it here. Uh, he's coming from. But what a ride to take on. As you can see, he's on the 2023 Honda Goldwing DCT. It's all packed up. He sent me some pictures of him on the tail of the dragon. His wife, uh, like Lorna, doesn't travel those distances. So she's going to meet him up there. Folks, how awesome is that, man? You know, like uh, today, a day that's supposed to rain, I got up, I saw the news, and I said to myself, you know, I need to go out. I'm going to be heading over to a place called Branford, which is actually a really nice relaxing place that I go when I'm off from work. Uh, let's make a right turn here. Really nice scenery, boat ramps, a little park. And it's just some place to go and chill, nice views. At the end of the video, I'll probably put the drone up just to let you see a little bit of the setting. But my fascination, guys, is folks that are traveling all over the place on motorcycles. It's supposed to rain and Lorna and I have a little joke here. Hey, what are you worried about? You on a Honda Goldwing. I am to the point now where I have conquered one of my fears and that's riding in the rain. On this motorcycle, riding in the rain is not an issue. I was um, told to, when it comes to raining and night riding and visibility, one of my subscribers there and someone that I had the utmost respect for when it comes to information being given and have a lot of knowledge, especially in the Honda Goldwing community, Mr. Road Glide there. He said, hey man, light that bike up. Make yourself as visible as possible. I have asked him for <laughs> permission to post a picture of one of the most beautiful Goldwings, Generation 6 Goldwings that I have seen. I saw a video with this guy beating up with Chris Galliente and even Chris looked at Road Lies Gold Wing and was like, wow. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna post up here a little so you can take a peep at that. Again, an older rider, if I'm not mistaken, I think Road Glide is also a pilot. It's interesting, folks, how we can make the correlations of some of the things that we are passionate about with other things that we have done. Embracing your passion, conquering your fears, <laughs> living your best life, man. That's what I get from these guys uh, from, the, from the motorcycle riding community. From folks that's been at this a lot longer than I have been. Definitely more knowledgeable than I am. So yeah, Bill, I envy you, man, taking on that trip all the way to the Carolinas, North Carolina, all the way to Tennessee. I made sure that I told Lorna this story. I said to her one time, I said, hey, you know what? I am going to ride from here up to North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina, to visit a cousin of mine that is now in his older years. He's been inspirational on, on my life growing up, and I, I need to go see him. He is in his later years, and she said, wow, ride it that distance? Hey, Lorna, <laughs> I am on a Honda Goldwing. Have you seen Boots and Jeans Riders? If you guys haven't checked it out, check those guys out, that, that couple out. Husband and wife that's riding all 
four corners of the U.S. Uh, they have also been over in, I think, Canada. I recently watched a video with them riding all the way to Alaska. I'm not going to complain about a trip just from here to North Car Carolina. That's nothing, man. We're on a go wing. Enjoy the ride, Bill. He's already sent some videos with him meeting his wife. I think his wife is flying in. But, you know, it is so exciting meeting folks and hearing their journeys. And as a return rider, that's what this is all about, the camaraderie, the fellowship. If there's any of you folks that's passing through Florida, Lake City area, and I'm off, and you guys want to stop and break bread or just want to stop and say hi, I'm more, you know, I am more than willing to, to meet up with you guys. It's been, it's been great. You know, but one of the things that I find that is absolutely amazing is as many of us are older riders, I really think that this riding motorcycles in itself is, is just, I say throttle therapy, but you know what, folks? This is absolutely therapeutic. It's Honda Goldwing, folks. Yeah, it's an old man's motorcycle. But guys, like I always say in these videos, on my videos, with age comes wisdom, understanding, and the appreciation of great things. You know, I'm not yet retired, but you know, folks always say, hey, you know, when I retire, I'm gonna do this. When I retire, I'm gonna do that. How many of us are forced, forced guys to see some of our family members and never make that retirement age? How many of us see our family members that when they reach that retirement age, they're just not able, physically, mentally, or whatever the situation is, and saying that, guys, it's best that we get out now and live our best lives. Embrace our passions and conquer our fears. I wish I can get everyone I know, and that was the intent getting back into this, to get some friends and families to join me on this journey of riding motorcycles. It's therapeutic, guys. Motorcycle riding effectively includes body mind and soul multitasking you know we have the you know we have to have a, a certain amount of dexterity it's fascinating to me man it's like a musician you know it's <laughs> it's interesting as i was talking to bart as i met up with him in tennessee as we are doing our rides, we got into some really interesting conversations to get to know each other. And Lorna will laugh about it, but if you come to my house, you would see more guitars around my house than I'm capable of playing. I just love and love practicing, but you know there's only but so much practice you can do without some professional help. But I love it, guys. I even travel with my guitar. And as I was talking to Bart, as we were sitting down and getting to know each other, I asked him, I say, Why, how did it come? At? Now, I watched the video with him after four months of riding doing the Robert Simmons class. And as he was making the U-turns and executing all the drills, Robert himself mentioned in the video, hey, I think this guy is sandbagging. Finger! We got a ringer here, ladies and gentlemen. Sure thing nobody's betting, because we would have all lost our money. Four months. Nice, boy. Woo! Good, you're good, you're good. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Representing the Gold Wing Riders. Representing, and a good representation at that. That's what I'm talking about, Bart. Smooth as butter. So I asked Bart, I said, hey, what, how did you make this look so easy? Plain and simple, man. He has studied the videos even before he started to ride. And Bart, let me tell you, you are also a return rider for according to your story you rode dirt bikes and stuff when you were younger you know 
The rules don't change, as Robert will say. You still have to manifest the same skills on a smaller than you do a big motorcycle. So you, whether you know it or not, you are a return rider, my friend. But what I found was most interested as we rode off and we were heading back as we got a little lost but didn't care. We had gas and what the hell, man? We're on goings. <laughs> Bart said to me, you know, Rich, do you play an instrument? I said, yeah, I play around with the guitar a little. He said, yeah, I'm a drummer. So let's, let's talk briefly about that before I shut this video down. Let's think about what is, you know, what it takes to be a drummer. The amount of multitasking that takes, the dexterity. You know, one hand is doing something, the other hand is doing something else. Your foot is doing, one foot is doing something. Guys, riding a motorcycle is freaking electric. It's, it's an art. It's a skill. A skill, of course, that they say we need to be able to practice. But the reason I believe that Bart took to this like a fish in water It's because he had already have the mental capacity to be able to multitask. He's have the dexterity to be, as your hand is on that, that throttle, throttle therapy folks, rolling on that throttle and feeling the power of it. But all importantly is being able to modulate and manipulate the front brake with the same hand. Control that clutch with the left hand, keeping the bike in the friction zone, knowing when to release and when to get in that gray area. The left foot, also with the timing with, between the clutch, the throttle, and to know what gear up or down to be in. I know you show off DCT folks, you don't have that same concern, but most of you DCT folks are coming from riding other bikes, so you do possess that skill. The right foot to control that brake, to modulate that brake. Guys, it makes this stuff, you have to be the master of, of being able to do all of these different things. Lauren and I talked about it and what make motorcycle riding for so many folks difficult. The task of riding a motorcycle now has now become a art, a skill. The ability to keep our minds, body, and souls refreshed. I'm just loving it, man. And I'm loving meeting folks that are getting out there and living their best life. So, yeah, return riders. First time riders. Get out there, man, on your motorcycles. Ride. Lorna, I'm about to start some traveling. I have all the luggage, the baggage, and everything that I need to pack up on this motorcycle. And start I'm, I'm gonna start with some mini trips first Orlando uh, different places before I head off over to uh, North Carolina or Tennessee I know Bill was trying to reach out to me before I took that trip I'm really lousy on Instagram and Facebook I'm, I, I promise going forward to be a little bit more in tune with this stuff but like I said I'm a rookie at this but folks I'm going to wrap this video up. It's long enough. I wasn't intended to make such a long video, but I'm just fascinated people that I have met. Now, enjoy your time. <laughs> Bill, look out for Bill videos coming out, guys. You know, as we are sitting down, the thrill on his face as he talked about flying a plane is almost like the thrill that he have as he's taking on this journey on that new 2023 Honda Goldwing DCT. I'm loving it. Anyway, folks. Like I always say, man, add some protection to your motorcycle. I don't care what you ride. Get in these parking lots. Emergency braking and swerving is life-saving. There's a saying, there are those that's been down and there are those that's going down. The only time I've been down, guys, is in a controlled environment at a parking lot. So what I am going to say, guys, is it's better you drop your bike on the cone course or in a parking lot than to crash them out there on the streets. Rich out on Ruby. 2019 Honda Goldwing. And I'm out.